Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are in the classic political machine 2020. Before I get into this I would just like to say thank you guys so much for 25 subscribers as of recording this video. It really means a lot that you guys are subscribing and it really motivates me to put out more content for you guys. Um, I don't know if there are any other big po political machine 2020 but if there are let's try and become the biggest. I think it would be really good if we could. Um, Obviously I will be playing other games, not just Political Machine, as it does get a bit repetitive, but I am still going to do it. There has been a new update, and um, so yeah, let's uh, get into Political Machine. They've added, uh, actually for one more question before I get into this, uh, would any of you be interested in me streaming uh, on YouTube, uh, just some Political Machine or any other games you wish to see me play or anything like that, would you guys come and watch a stream? If so, please leave a comment saying you would or if not also leave a comment because I'm sure many of you just come for a video I'm sure not many people would watch the stream but even so it wouldn't be uh, such a bad idea to get out there um, but yeah there's been a new update and they've added some new uh, like points like they've added stimulus checks they've added the George Floyd riots I believe They've added the uh, mask mandates and they've added the replacement of the Supreme Court nominee. And I'm just going to go in and uh, I'm not sure who to play. I'm just going to play as someone I feel like playing. Actually no, let me get up a suggestion from someone. I think that's the best. Someone wants me to play a libertarian ideology. Let me just uh, get this up here on my phone. Uh, Rand Paul, his ideology is libertarian and play against Mike Bloomberg because why not? That was from Alex G. Thank you so much for the comment Alex G and I will be sure to uh, do that for you. I'm pretty sure he's a Republican, we'll play on the hardest difficulty and it was Rand Paul with his libertarian ideology. Um, so yeah, I will now be shouting out the comments. Um, obviously I'm not getting loads of views but if you leave a comment I'll make sure to say your names and uh, what you suggested and he said Mike Bloomberg so let's go against Mike Bloomberg he's an establishment democrat uh, it seems pretty balanced uh, establishment democrat tree is actually very good uh, so I'm, oh, we are in here and I'm Rand Paul so yeah please let me know what you think I'll be shouting out comments now so if you leave a comment I will make sure to shout you out for that as you deserve credit for participating and interacting in my channel as it really does mean a lot uh, let's always get ideology points. I love me some ideology points. Now, I don't know. Right. This is what I'm going to do. I actually know. I'm just going to go straight in with this. Open borders. Because I've never tried this ideology before. I've never tried this one. And it looks rather interesting. So, I think I'm just going to give it a crack. That is bad. That is very bad. Um, okay. This may be a loss because of that exact thing. Because all I've done is up Democrat support in Republican states. And it just hasn't helped me. Okay, so that's not great. But we can recover. I am confident that we can recover. Um, I do want to do that one because it's kind of his big... Well, it's not his big thing. But it's a very big, like, um, sort of stance to take. Um... So yeah, let's try and uh, work our way back to gaining some of these votes. There's a flat tax. Um, I actually disagree with the flat tax. Um, it says fairest way to tax citizens. Opponents point out they would be tax would be very regressive. Uh, flat income tax means everyone pays the same percent, and the income tax is sort of the percentage goes up in brackets depending on how much you earn. Uh, I disagree with the flat income tax. I think there should be an income tax. Um, because I think that's a fairer way to run society, to be honest, rather than a flat income, which isn't very fair. Uh, cutting taxes altogether, I also disagree with. So, uh, <coughs> but I may do it if need be. Uh, do I? Okay, let's do that one as well. Let's just secure some of these states. I figured it would do that. I knew it would uh, help him in some democrat states but it also helped me secure some of mine just making them irreversible i'll try to win virginia as well um being a bit reckless but i think i could pull this around yes i understand this i played this i wish it saw the amount of hours 
and just sort of clocked in in its head that it doesn't have that I actually know how to play the game <laughs> so alright let's fly to Utah see if we can get some ideology points six ideology points that is very good let's go for net neutrality and then next we'll go for liberty for all okay so let's try and find some of these new things to talk about so there's protecting social security open borders uh, is there also a uh, filling supreme court vacancy um, there's black lives matter there's prosecuting rioters Taxation is a theft, I think it's one of my things. But there's all of these things. There's a national mask mandate as well. So obviously doing I might do prosecuting rioters in Florida. It's not one of its top issues, but um I would just like to try out oh you see up there, sorry. But I would just like to try out um the new the new stuff, as it were. Because it's in the game and I'd just like to see it. Being said, you know. I'm not I just should point out now this doesn't reflect my actual stances but as a Republican that's what I would want to do that's what I must stress actually I didn't really think about that when I was doing that um, and I saw a lot of comments on my uh, election prediction saying about how things you would have done differently and all that and I really do appreciate the comments I really do um, and it was good to talk about it especially on my video before that about Texas I was debating with someone about whether it was going to be close and uh, it's really nice just to have those sort of interactions with you guys it really makes my channel feel active you know so thank you for that I do liberty for all and then we'll go for remove troops from other countries All right, this is going good this is this is going good very good got a lot of solid red um, a lot of solid red indeed. Uh, he's playing Among Us again. Guess <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, one thing I might do is not make uh, gun control liked by Republicans because that would just help uh, Joe Biden in the state. I'm going to go and upgrade my HQ, and I'm actually going to start buying operatives. Um, I don't usually buy them this early on, but I think I'm going to start doing so because operatives will just get spammed with agents so if I can just get them out early and just get a lot of them out um, hopefully I can keep it together you know so uh, stop coronavirus that's got me triple thumbs up in that we've got triple thumbs up in open borders wait Republicans don't like open borders ah see that's an issue so I didn't know that actually I thought um, Republicans would have. Oh, of course they wouldn't. Because Trump wants to build the wall. Okay, well, I guess that's just a, a appeal to Democrat policy type thing that we're just sort of throwing out there for a bit, but they're not actually going to follow through with. <laughs> Pretty much like every other politician ever, but, you know, well, I digress. Uh, let's see. Remove troops from other countries. Yeah, I think that's the best one next. I do agree troops should be removed. I think our uh, military budget should be cut just a little bit. I say ours, I mean uh, America's. But I can understand the argument for wanting to fund it more. But I don't think America should have a place in the Middle East, to be honest. But again, I digress. Now, who would a libertarian want as their... Um, as their running mates not Hitler believe it or not Barry Gold no Donald Trump Elon ah, let's just get Elon Musk he's a libertarian we'll get Elon Musk I think I think that'll be very good honestly in real life if Elon Musk was put as someone's VP I think that person would have quite a big boost to be honest don't quite like he's just sort of would he's, he's decently popular but maybe not for the political scene that's uh up to politicians. Trick question, so be careful. How important is it for a president to be honest? Very. So here's the tricky part. Are you honest? I am. And they love that. How much money have you collected from donors? They didn't give it to you for nothing. So what promises have you made to your donors? Sexy promises? Uh, I've made... Uh, I get donations from regular Americans. That'll keep you busy. I'm not afraid of work. 
and that was okay and that's ideology points so at the moment week 12 about halfway through we are only just winning actually I guess because of Pennsylvania, Ohio and uh, Michigan so we will probably want to expand our lead in some of these states because it's actually closer than it looks there's a lot of solid states uh, there's not really any like in between there's a toss up or safe like that is literally it which I find is quite amusing uh, let's do COVID here fly back to Nevada um, I'm gonna do some f I'm just gonna spend the whole of next game fundraising no next round sorry also uh, George Washington is Bloomberg's running mate <laughs> that's uh, a shocker to say the least um, ideology points anything's better than intimidators uh, but I'm using them wrong or they're rubbish so I'm gonna go with they're rubbish because that makes me look better <laughs> uh, appear on good day of course this coronavirus thing is scary stuff what should you do to keep on up it? <clears throat> keep them safe don't panic listen to the experts but that's the president isn't that you no the private sector know best and uh, they love that all these modern video games are gambling uh, let the free market manage itself so just leave as it was yes and they love that as well I'm actually surprised can I afford an ideology no I can't that is a-okay because I can afford a smear merchant to go into Floridia nice 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 uh, New Hampshire is close up with a HQ there and do a speech about addressing not addressing the opioid crisis about COVID get ahead on that I'll also get ahead on addressing the opioid crisis eventually uh, just not quite now <laughs> okay well, it's actually closer than it looks it really looks like it should just be red everywhere but it is actually very close right now right let's do uh, religious freedoms which I do think every country should have so at the moment I would be losing wow 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 I'd actually be losing and that's with Connecticut is that with Florida that's because of Florida let's get another spin doctor up in here let's put it in my favor so I'm winning now correct but it's a close one it's really close actually I hope they made it hard in the uh, update because it does seem harder than usual could be because I've just not played in a while but it just does seem very difficult to be honest polls losing again so we're coming down to Florida guys it's like the 2000 election uh, alright a fixer I think I think I've just got to start eliminating them apparently if I right click on an agent it'll get rid of that agent but it didn't okay maybe that was just uh, misinformation but let's go to Washington and try and tip the balance there in our favor which is now let's go to Connecticut as well just lock it down North Carolina is blue okay I didn't see that coming go back to Connecticut so I do have a lack of money so I'm gonna have to start fundraising again because Michael Bloomberg is rich he has riches everything so oh, I need Florida I either need Florida or I need Ohio or something which I could try for Ohio but if, oh yeah Ohio is enough in theory to tip me over the edge uh, I'll go to Michigan uh, operatives Intimidator, not good. And and don't tell me another intimidator. I think it's another intimidator. Yes, it is. Of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Right, how's it going? I'm still losing. I need some more fundraising. I just need money to buy agents at this point, really. So I need North Carolina. If I get North Carolina, do I win? Yes. North Carolina would make me win, providing I hold on to uh, Nevada and Minnesota. Right, let's see what they do. Um, they killed my smear merchant, which 
isn't the best. They're encroaching in Louisiana and Oklahoma, but I can't really afford to go to those states right now. I kind of just need to um, get North Carolina back, really. Which it still isn't with that. Alright, so we're ahead on COVID, and now we're ahead in the state. We're still losing, however, because we are losing Minnesota. We are winning Ohio. We are winning Oklahoma. We are winning Louisiana. Winning Nevada. Winning Connecticut. Losing in Maine. Winning in New Hampshire. And we're losing in Virginia. Alright, I'm going to fly to these states. I need to lock them down. I'm, I'm in negative money. This isn't good. I need operatives from this. I need them and I need them now. Okay, spin doctor. Perfect. Right, so... Oh. Alright, so North Carolina is secured. Cheerleader. Go into Ohio. Oh, no. That doesn't really matter. Cheerleaders are useless. So at the moment, I would still lose. Am I winning Virginia? I'm winning in Virginia. Nevada. Oklahoma. Minnesota, just not Louisiana. Out of all of them, I thought Louisiana would have been the safest, but whatever. Alright, next turn. This is the all important turn, and it was so close. Selection. Alright, let's uh, get this event and get operatives, because that is a necessity. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, Florida's blue, so I can use these elsewhere. Louisiana's red. Oklahoma's blue. Colorado's blue. So what's, what's it looking? Not good. Not good whatsoever. We're winning in North Carolina. Winning in Virginia. Winning in Ohio. Winning in Missouri. Winning in Nevada. Losing in Minnesota. Uh, let's send you to... Oh, I got two spin merchants. Oh, that is amazing. That's actually amazing. So we're actually winning now. Would I be winning without this main merchant in Connecticut? Yeah. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I may have just done it. Oh no, Oklahoma. Okay, I made Oklahoma red. There you go. Election night. We lost a popular vote by 7%, which is going to cause our pro if this is real life. Uh, but we're doing well. We want Connecticut and New Hampshire. So that's a plus for Republicans. We want Virginia back. North Carolina and the South, pretty secured. Uh, Florida, we didn't win, which is a shame for Republicans, but what can you do? We won Ohio, we retained it. Um, Indiana, we kept. Michigan, we didn't really try for. However, Wisconsin, I believe we did win. We did indeed. Minnesota, we flipped, and it's that was the longest-running Democratic state, which is also very good. We kept our red wall intact, only just with Oklahoma. Um... So that is good. We want Texas as well. We want Colorado, which is a flip. Uh, not New Mexico, however, but Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and Arizona were kept. Uh, Nevada was flipped, which is a shock. And uh, Washington was competitive at one point, but was not near the end. Hawaii and then Alaska. Well, there you go. That was the election. Let's um, view the map. So Alaska was won by a lot. Hawaii. I don't know why they had a smear merchant and a spin doctor on Hawaii. Seems useless. So as Washington with that smear merchant, but Colorado was won by in the end about seven percent. Oklahoma less than a percent. Florida was won by seventeen percent. Uh, North Carolina was won by three. Virginia was won by five. Connecticut was won by three. New Hampshire was won by. 11, Ohio was won by less than 1, Wisconsin was won by 7, Minnesota was won by 7. Okay, let's take a look at the polls. It, the final score was 249 to 289. The popular vote, he got 91.6 million and I got 77.2 million, which would definitely cause uproar in this world. A 22 million people lead. Uh, money spent, he spent uh, 12 million more than me. Uh, I spent double the ideology points and I got a score of 2,890 and he got a score of 2,490. Now in the polls and stopping COVID, they supported Bloomberg into the, the National Gun Registry, they supported me. In Good Jobs, they supported Bloomberg. In Open Borders, they supported Bloomberg. 
in filling the Supreme Court vacancy, they supported me. In protecting net neutrality, they supported Bloomberg. Student loan reform, Bloomberg. Gun control, me. Smaller government, Bloomberg. Abortion rights, me. So, anyways, I'm not going to play as Bloomberg because the suggested one was uh, Rand Paul and his libertarian ideology, not uh, establishment Democrats. It's just another establishment Democrat. If it's another unique ideology like Bloombergerism or something, I'd play it, but it isn't. So, I'm just going to leave it at this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please tell me what you think about a stream, whether you'd come down for that or if you wouldn't want that. But either way, that's okay. Uh, please leave more suggestions in the comments. I've got some to work through, so I'm good for a bit. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take care and uh, goodbye.